Hello and welcome back. Today I thought I would film a video around how I build outfits. So um, I thought I'd talk you through the process, how I kind of select items and sort of work out my proportions when I'm putting things on. Uh, I have three items that I'm going to kind of style up and then just talk through outfits that maybe don't feel quite right and things that I would change or maybe just little bits that I would tweak. So if that's not a really huge clue, essentially what I like to do is I start with one key item and that's what I like to sort of base my entire outfit around so the first item that I want to kind of style up in this video sorry if the lighting goes a little bit funny uh, these white trousers here from Bowdoin they're almost like a um, utility style pant and then I have got them cuffed at the ankle so they hit me at the right point so I'm gonna throw these on and I'll put on my first sort of outfit combo and then I'll talk through the ways I would change it Okay, so first things first, I was kind of thinking of wearing it with this knit here from Cezanne. Okay, so I really, really love this knit. I think it's such a good basic from the brand, and I actually really adore the navy and white stripe version that they currently have online. However, I think paired with the white trousers, it almost feels a little bit too marine-inspired, nautical, a little bit costumey. So uh, I would probably change this out for a different knit. Okay, so the second item I was thinking about was maybe this really, really dark, navy, mild cashmere cardigan. However, putting it on, it sort of feels like the buttons are just a little bit too much of a statement for the outfit that I want to personally wear today. I'm going to come up close so you can get a better look. So yeah, this one is also a no, so hopefully third time lucky. So I decided to end up opting for a t-shirt and cardigan combo just because I like the way that there are different proportions in the outfit. So you kind of have the sort of medium to high rise of the trousers, which create a line in my waist to make my legs look longer. But then you also have this slightly longer line from the cardigan, which hits me uh, around the I would say sort of the top third of my thigh and I really like that. I like the fact that I've got this column of color down the center of my body and then I have this slightly darker color over the top and uh, if you are sort of looking for something that is more of a slimming effect then this will definitely be it. So shoes are next and there's kind of two different ways I could go. Uh, a lot of my shoes are really uh, either beige or tan or they're black and most of the ones that I sort of pulled aside for this video are black ones so I will show you how a black pair of shoes look for the with this outfit and then also how a um, sort of more neutral toned shoe looks. Okay, so first variation is with the black pumps, and I really like these shoes for the shape. I like the fact that the toe is slightly squared off, so it's not a straight point, but it's also not rounded. It To me, it feels a little bit fresh and modern, and that's sort of something I like to look for in my outfits. However, because they are black, it does add a lot of heaviness to the bottom of my outfit, and it does break up that really nice line that I've created with the t-shirt and the trousers. So the second option are my two-tone pumps, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll be very familiar with at this point so one of the things I like about these shoes in particular with a neutral tone outfit like this is the fact that they are that lighter color they aren't too dissimilar in tone to the um, to my complexion on my feet and I do like the fact that the black cap toe really draws the eye downwards so you're continuing the extension of that vertical line down the center but then you have this uh, little highlighted point as well which is interesting to me even though they are more of an almond toe which I know I I have seen some some videos and uh, blog posts saying that almond toes are out at the moment. I'm personally going to keep wearing them. I think you wear what you love. So yeah, that is sort of first outfit and how I would style it. Love to know what you think in terms of how it turned out in the end. So the next item that I wanted to sort of talk about and style up for this video is this knit from Totem. So the most obvious way to wear this for me is either with leggings or with a pair of jeans. However, I think that can be a little bit stale and boring. Um, I'm not going to pair this with trousers either because, uh, like I said, I kind of want to break out of that mold, that very, very typical style of how you see this being worn. So I thought that what I would do is wear it with a skirt instead. So I've got a couple of different options. Um, I will throw this on and put the first one on and we can talk through that look. Okay, so first outfit with this knit and I've paired it with this uh, knee length Jill Sander skirt which I picked up pre-loved late last year. Um, I really like the textures of this because it's all very cozy and woolen. So the skirt is like this really nice wool and it has this slight little uh, slit detail at the front. I have chosen to wear the knit loose because I do quite like the way that you have this really sort of 
like loose fluid lines especially because the skirt is shorter so I'm exposing my legs for this outfit I actually maybe put on a pair of tights with this look hang on let me see if I've got any in the cupboard okay well you can tell I live in a mild climate because I can't find any stockings so I'm gonna have to probably buy some for this winter because I would like to wear skirts and because it will get a bit cooler I think that'll be helpful but yeah um, I would probably pair it with some black tights so that I can continue that seamless line which I think when you are sort of dressing in a monochromatic way then uh, that's one visual way to look at your outfit in terms of blocks so you can sort of see here also I'm kind of playing with that rule of thirds so the line of my outfit the top and the skirt it is sort of two-thirds of my body and that really does create an interesting proportion okay so i've opted to pop a little pair of boots on and i've gone for a pair which actually go halfway up my calf i find that this height for the boot shaft is really quite flattering and because they are a glove boot they hug your legs and so they don't add any additional bulk on your sort of lower half which I really appreciate. Um, I actually quite like the way that these boots look with this skirt. I think it creates some interesting elements. You have that exposed skin however if I was doing this properly I would have on a pair of tights so, um, but in this instance you do have that exposed skin which is a really nice sort of slim element as part of the outfit given that the top portion is very sort of oversized and relaxed and that is definitely one way that I like to think about adding balance into my outfit so it could either be by bearing a little bit of skin you could maybe even sort of roll up the cuffs of the knit to expose a little bit of your wrist which is another nice slim point or alternatively because this is a roll neck knit I could also tie my hair back into a bun and create this really nice sleek slicked back look and definitely thinking about how your hairstyle plays into the overall outfit or uh, overall vibe and elements of your outfit is something that I tend to sort of consider when I am putting together my look. So I actually want to switch the skirt out for the other one that I pulled out of the closet because I think it's a little bit more visually interesting and uh, I want to play around with things a little bit more. Okay so you can see I've swapped out that mini skirt for a longer midi skirt in this faux leather shiny patent faux leather fabrication which I just think adds a nice element of texture um, it's really sort of shiny it reflects the light in a really interesting way uh, and I also just like the silhouette of the skirt how it kind of puckers in ever so slightly in the center um, I have again just worn the knit loose but I think it would also be kind of nice as a bit of a French tuck I'm just gonna wear it loose so for the purpose of this video now I've kept the boots on and I'm gonna say when you look at it you'll see visually it just that something feels a little bit off so the skirt is actually from Tibby and uh, if you are trying to work out your personal style I do think that Amy does some really great lives um, especially if you go back to the older ones where she's with Dion and they talk through elements of style and they give lots of styling tips and tricks so Highly recommend going and checking that out on the Tibby uh, Instagram. Um, but one thing she talks about a lot is the skin sandwich thing where you have the hem of your trousers or your skirts or shorts, whatever it is, and then your boots or your shoes. They sort of uh, leave this sliver of skin. And it's a look. It's definitely something I've done a lot of in the past. I'm very guilty of it. But now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. So when it comes to an outfit like this, because you can see I've got that little sliver of skin, I'd either want have the tights on which as we have realized I have none of uh, or I want to change the shoes and actually I do want to change the shoes in this instance because um, these ones don't quite feel right I want something that is a little bit more dainty and elegant to sort of reflect the feel of the skirt because it is a midi skirt it does feel a bit more modest and a little bit more elegant and refined and these boots don't really feel like they match up uh, especially given how slouchy this is so I want that bottom half to reflect the elegance of the skirt basically <laughs> okay so for my final iteration with this knit I have opted to put on these shoes I've got from Garni and um, these were again a second-hand find uh, I love the fact that they are very much a feminine shoe from the bow on the back of the heel to the pointed toe and the fact that the vamp is also uh, pointed or it's got that sort of sharp line to it uh, it just feels very 
very girly uh, and I think it works quite nicely with this outfit because the knit it's so bulky oversized boxy almost has uh, sort of masculine elements to it and then you've got the skirt which is a little bit more edgy because it is that faux patent fabrication um, and then that's sort of softened by the shoes and the uh, primness of them in a way as well I, I definitely wouldn't wear this I with tights I don't think because I like the fact that I've got part of my leg exposed because this is more of a midi skirt um, actually a, a boot with a really high shaft would look really nice with this as well um, probably in a leather to uh, sort of differentiate from the fabrication of the skirt uh, but yeah the shoes they're suede as well so that does add in an additional bit of softness to the overall outfit uh, and yeah I really like the way that this sort of has turned out and uh, I think if I wasn't going to physio shortly then I would probably try and wear this today as impractical as heels are with a newborn. <laughs> Okay, and the final piece that I want to style up in this video is one that I actually haven't worn yet. Again, this was another one of those pre-love purchases I made late last year. I really went on a secondhand shopping binge, um, which I'm very embarrassed about, and it was one of the reasons why I decided to embark on a low buy uh, this year. So this is actually, it's from Tibby. Um, I have seen it on there. The thing I like about it is it has this really kind of fuzzy texture to it, uh, but then it also has the wool backing as well, so you have this sort of combination of textures which feel really kind of fun and playful but then elegant and refined at the same time. So I think the first way I'm going to wear it is as a little dress and then we'll see how that looks and maybe uh, I might sort of throw it on as a vest with some jeans. So yeah, let's give that a go. Okay, so what I've done is I have thrown it over this sort of slim knit from Cezanne. It's actually one of my favorite purchases from the brand, by the way, if you're wondering. Highly recommend. Um, it's the Jacob Knit. Uh, so I wanted to do that just to create a little bit of layering and make it really nice and warm and cozy because it is actually quite a cold day today. Uh, and you know, I have to say, I actually really love this as a dress. When I purchased it, I was thinking it was more going to be a sleeveless blazer that I could wear over this top of things but uh, I hadn't really thought oops I forgot the bottom button um I haven't really thought about wearing it like this layered over knitwear uh, and I actually think it would look really cool with more of a chunkier knit with really large sleeves underneath too um, now that I'm thinking about it um, but ultimately I really wish that I had some tights because I think those would look fab with this with a pair of uh, little boots on or something like that um, the other thing I was thinking is you could probably also belt this blazer as well if you wanted to sort of cinch in the waist but uh, I feel like if you're wearing a shoe that is a little bit more streamlined slim fitting on the body uh, then you do kind of have that more slim element in the outfit uh, which does create that visual balance I'm also sorry that these outfits have been so monochromatic and very much focused on neutrals uh, definitely not by design it was just the items that I picked out and uh, yeah I'm, I'm trying to do this very quickly while our daughter now so if you can hear her in the background, that's what that sort of heavy breathing noise is. The other thing I forgot to say is one of the things I like about simple outfits like this is being able to really draw on statement jewelry pieces. So I am wearing my really fun little ear cuff here from Marnie, which I love as it adds a little bit of weight around my face. Um, so yeah, that is kind of, I guess, initially how I put this outfit together. I think what we're going to do is put on my uh, black uh, pumps from Vanilli because I feel like they would go quite well with this outfit okay so I have to say I actually absolutely adore it with my Vanelli two-tone pumps I think that it works really nicely it feels very kind of it does feel very feminine uh, and it has that really fun element of texture from the actual vest itself or dress should I say um, and I feel quite kind of Parisian and chic I feel like this is a very effortless outfit uh, and again it would look really great if I had the black tights on too um, but I don't mind it without this is a really good kind of trend transitional outfit for me I think uh, but I do want to kind of pair it with jeans I really haven't had much of an opportunity to play around with this so thought it'd be fun to do so on camera with you guys so yeah I'm gonna grab some jeans out of the closet and put a different little knit or top on underneath and we'll see how that goes okay so I have just opted for a pair of blue wash jeans I kept my knit the same in the end because I thought it would be nice to have sort of a seamless look up the top with the black knit underneath the dress vest See, that's why pieces like this are great because they're so versatile and you can wear them lots of different ways. And this will make a great little layering piece underneath the coat as well. So definitely going to link the one that I found 
uh, on the real real below um, but yeah I really like these jeans they're from a Goldie um, I'm gonna pop a belt on though because I do want to define my waist a little bit more okay so this is the outfit with the belt not a huge update but I do think it adds a nice little touch of adornment and does highlight my waist a little bit more now my time is limited so I'm just gonna do one pair of shoes uh, I thought I would go with my about Ariane pumps because they give me a little bit of height uh, and it does really seamlessly work with the whole outfit because they are black as well all right so I've added the black pumps and I'm very very happy with the way that this whole outfit looks uh, I think if I've gone with my two-tone pumps that I shared earlier it would have just felt a little bit kind of cluttered visually in a way uh, I have sort of here made the jeans the highlight of the outfit because they are blue and they're the only element that isn't black but I do think a really simple way to kind of make an outfit work when you're pairing things together is to match your accessories uh, this is a great kind of fail safe role uh, if you are kind of styling and you're stuck and not sure what to do uh, from that perspective. Uh, I do tend to like to keep a maximum of three colors in an outfit, maybe four if two of the colors are black or white. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the fact that the shoes aren't a severe pointed toe. They have that squared off element. Uh, they do expose a little bit of my ankle here because I'm not wearing a boot. Um, and they feel kind of, you know, dainty, feminine, uh, really kind of those sorts of elements elements which I like to have some sort of touch of femininity within my outfit um, no matter what I'm doing whether it's my hair down and wavy or if it is a pretty little ballerina shoe like this so that is the second iteration of this outfit uh, which one do you prefer the first look with the uh, the vest worn as a dress or the dress worn as a dress or with it worn open as a vest like this um, would love to know what you think which outfit out of all of the ones that I shared today were your favorite I will have everything that I mentioned and that I styled up link down in the description box below as always I have also been making a point of popping discount codes that I have uh, currently available down in the description box too so always worth checking uh, as it might be a great way to be able to save on one of your future purchases but yeah thank you so much for spending some of your day with me uh, sorry if this has felt a little bit stopped starty especially towards the end our girl is really fighting the end of her nap so um, I feel like I have been tempting fate by pushing this out as long as I have but yeah thank you so much for being here with me uh, if you are new here and you want to see more videos like this from me then please do subscribe if you have any requests then please holler at them my way always happy to try and accommodate and I will see you next week with a brand new video see you very soon bye